hello friends welcome to my channel in previous sessions we have discussed how to read the data and how to insert and update the data in today's session we are going to discuss how to delete the data by using entity framework core whenever user clicks on this delete button it should redirect to delete form and we are pausing employee id here so based on that employee id we have to delete the data before watching this video please watch my previous videos which we implemented the read insert update operations before continuing with this session i would request you all please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notification alerts first we have to create delete form for that i am going to create one action method for delete we are going to reuse this edit action method it will be similar to edit i'll copy this and here we are going to use this action method here we will change it to delete this is delete action method which is expecting id parameter and based on id we are going to filter the data from the employees table so we will get the data if employee variable is not null then we are going to assign this employee data to employee view model this employee class is responsible to communicate with the db context and employee view model is responsible to pass the data from controller to view and view to controller here we are going to assign employee data to our view that is delete view if this id is not available in the employee is stable then we have to show one message to user stating that employee details are not available with the id which is provided by the user if there is any unhandled exceptions are there we are going to catch with this try catch block and this is also we are going to display in the index action method right click on the delete action method add view we are going to select empty view add i'll name it as delete so we are going to take our design from edit form it will be similar to the edit here i will change the title as delete employee and here we are going to display title in the form this error message we are going to pass from employee controller if this error message is not null and there is no white space then we are going to display error message to user and also this is going to be delete action method so we have to create one more action method with the delete for post action and here we are going to disable all the text boxes here we no need to edit the form so i am making as disable so that it will not allow user to edit the data also we no need to display any validation messages here so i am removing all the validation spans and this is going to be danger and i will change the title as delete here i am going to remove this client side validation is not required because we are not going to edit or insert any data from this form just we are going to delete also we can take confirmation from the user to delete for that i will create one on click javascript function to take the confirmation from the user whenever user clicks on the delete button this javascript function will be called
also here we can pass employee name model dot full name so now we have to create another action method to post the data for that go to the controller here I will create one post action method to delete the data I will create one public action result method is delete and here we are going to get employee view model it's model finally we have to return the view here we have to check whether is there any data available with the id which is passed in the model for that i will check context dot employees here we have to verify is there any data available or not so anyway we are going to pass primary key here so we will get only single record that's why I'm using single or default it's model dot ID if employee is not equal to null then we have to delete the data dot remove here we have to pass employee record also we have to save the changes here finally we have to pass success message to the index action method So this message will be displayed to the user and we have to return to redirect to action method Let's say index action method we are going to redirect if there is no employee available with the id which is passed by the user then we have to make it as error so we are going to display this message So finally we have to verify is there any unhandled exceptions are there for that I am going to keep it inside try catch block here we have to pause message to again delete view here it will be here we will get model data from the delete view so from there we are verifying whether is there any record available with the id which is passed by the user so if the data is available then we have to remove that entry and we have to save the changes so we have to display this success message to user for confirmation and finally we are going to redirect to index action method if employee is not available with this id which is provided by the user then we have to show the error message like employee details not available with the id which is passed by user that is model.id so finally we are going to redirect to the index view if there is any unhandled exceptions are there we have to show that error message to the user and we are going to redirect into our delete view instead of index here we are going to redirect to delete view we will run the application and we will see the output so currently we have 22 records we can see the same in database also we have 22 rows and we will try to delete one entry click on delete button 
so it is showing our delete form where all the controls are disabled here you can click on delete so employee deleted successfully our javascript function is not called we will check that first we will verify whether that 22 id is deleted or not execute the select query so that record has been deleted from the database we will check the javascript function here we have to make it as confirm We'll reload it reload the data and we'll delete again delete so now it is showing are you sure to delete employee it's the first name and last name it's showing as full name here and if i cancel it will not delete this entry again i will try to delete the data id is 21 this time i am confirming to delete okay so employee deleted successfully after 5 seconds automatically this alert will be closed we will check the db so currently we have data 21 execute query so that 21 record has been deleted from the database we will delete one more entry delete are you sure to delete employee test employee ok it's deleted successfully so like this we implemented this bootstrap alert in previous sessions if you have not seen my previous sessions please go through with the sessions which we explained about how to read the data from the database and how to insert and update the data so like this we can perform CRUD operations in ASP.NET Core MVC by using Entity Framework Core so that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching